Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for Friday, March 25th, 2022. Well, yesterday, the market, the bulls decided we don't care about no stinking durable goods orders that came in quite negative on the day and just decided they wanted to rally yesterday. So pushing up and creating some pretty good bullish patterns in the index charts. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, I have mentioned before it's critical that when we look at a chart, we look at these big strong rallies like this that we are able to put in a higher low that we can prove a higher low. And by golly, look what's happening here. We broke that downtrend and those bulls defiant in here were just kind of ignoring inflation we're ignoring Russia Ukraine we're ignoring lots of things here in the market those internal numbers don't seem to matter right now because they just want to buy 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 so watch that carefully we have put in that possibility of a nice little higher low here uh, pattern in that chart and the question is can they follow through with that today pushing it through to the upside with kind of that uncertainty of the weekend coming into play um, tech was the big winner yesterday but we'll still want to be paying attention right in here on these price resistance levels in the chart obviously this is a fairly substantial price resistance level in the chart so if those bulls can push through there that'll be pretty interesting here on the day and if those bears find a reason to push back again once again we've got support levels in that chart to deal with let's keep in mind that we've pushed up through that 50-day moving average and we're challenging we're trying to push up toward that 200-day moving average in the chart but we still want to keep in mind 50 has crossed down through the 200 and just realize that maybe not everything is quite as rosy as the bulls are trying to demonstrate here in the market we may be a little bit overextended in the short term then let's take a quick look SPY very similar here on SPY except a little bit stronger we had quite a surge in big tech yesterday and obviously big tech is a big part of the SPY index and as you can can see pushing up through here pushing right into that price resistance level in the chart now there is a challenge here for big tech today if you saw the news this morning Europe has passed new regulations with an attempt to slow down or deter big tech and uh, the big tech dominance in their um, economy over there so we'll want to watch that closely that may hamper some of this bullish energy going um, into those tech giants but let's watch that closely now once again we're creating that little higher low here in the chart and this is a pattern this three candle pattern that you see right here um, i call that a fig newton pattern and you won't find that in any um, candlestick books but typically when you see a bullish candle bearish candle bullish candle on the other side that typically leads to a follow-through to the upside but we still have that challenge of that price resistance in here to deal with so you just never know as we slide into the weekend but I got to give this one to the bulls here for sure because we are holding that higher low in the market albeit kind of stretched in the short term on that chart if the bears find reason for um you know a little bit of feistiness here today um, we'll want to watch this area right in here for a little bit of price support in that chart then let's take a look at our qqq like i said qqq was the big winner yesterday really really strong move you can see the very strong bullishness and again kind of that fig newton type pattern in the chart and we're pushing up into this really remarkably strong level of price resistance in um, the qqq but we're trying to ignore anything negative right now and just 
push into um, into stocks. Now let's watch some of those closely because some of those have become very extended in the short term. Take a look at Apple um, as an example. And as a matter of fact, I actually um, picked up, whoops, if I could type the symbol correctly. Um, um, I actually picked up a position yesterday that is a bearish position here on um, Apple because I think it's just extended too far too fast and slamming into that resistance it's highly likely it pulls back if not today you know next week so watch that closely as we continue to extend some of these stocks to kind of ridiculous levels considering the inflationary impacts um, rising uh, Fed rates and things like that here in the market let's take a look at IWM our Russell index also putting in that little higher low in here trying to show that bullishness trying to hold that support level in the chart but unfortunately I IWM still has this uncomfortable situation of that massive level of price resistance above. So we'll have to see. I think it's going to take something pretty amazing to push IWM up through there. But you never know. Um, the bulls just seem to be covering their eyes. As a matter of fact, I put a picture on the blog this morning, you know, just covering your eyes. We don't care about durable goods orders. We don't care about falling home sales. We don't care about falling mortgage rates. We don't care about you know um, um, higher inflation we don't care that the Fed is going to be raising rates again um, and <laughs> we just keep uh, plowing on forward um, as if none of that um, matters at all and maybe it doesn't who knows let's take a look at our um, VIX here now the VIX yesterday was not doing much of anything honestly until right at the end of the day and at the end of the day we just had a massive surge right in the last five minutes of the day a massive surge came into the market pushing those indexes up sharply and that pushed that VIX down so good sign here for the bulls that VIX is starting to um, relax a little bit pull back quite a little bit we're going to, going to want to watch this 20 handle there is quite a little price support and in that 20 handle but we've given up that 25 area in the chart and we um, broke that um, upside trend so things are looking a lot better here in the VIX but I wonder if maybe again it's just um, we're tired of the selling and we're just trying to ignore everything wanting to buy buy um, in the market but I gotta I gotta tell you guys I think I would be really really careful and cautious I think that sell side may come back here in the market, um, but watch those closely. Let's take a look at our um, T21. 22 this morning our t21 22 the four week new high new low ratio you know it did its job um day before yesterday pushing us back from that very extended um pattern in here and i mentioned um yesterday that we've seen these patterns in here where we can exist up here for a while we can hold in this upper range of t21 22 and that's exactly happening right now um, we have that potential if those bulls can push on through today um, we have that potential that we could extend back up here in that bearish um, reversal zone but let's keep in mind guys I don't care how far back you go you'll never find a situation where we can extend uh, beyond these levels and continue to push to the upside before we get some of that pullback or selling now keep in mind um, we can have a rest in the market meaning just a consolidation and that pulls this back it doesn't necessarily mean we have to fall all the way back down so let's keep an eye on some of this data today if the bulls can uh, follow through to the upside well we certainly have a little bit of upside room to push through and if those bears find a reason we've opened up pretty substantial downside potential here in the market if they re-engage and we'll just have to be watching carefully for that in case that does occur let's take a look at our t21 08. Now T2108 had a pretty good day and it really surged right at the end of the day. But notice that um, although we pushed up into higher prices here in our indexes, just kind of keep in mind that our T2108 did improve 
but it didn't break through the the high of just a couple of days ago so kind of interesting um, didn't quite make it up through there but um, we're still challenging this um, resistance this downtrend resistance in the chart we have broken back through this uh, little downside trend to the upside and we're pushing into some of these resistance levels so we will have to keep an eye on that just note that we're pushing into quite a little bit of price resistance on that t2108 t2107 very very similar we did push up at the end of the day had a nice little shove there um, but once again we didn't break through that resistance resistance um, or that high of just a couple of days ago and we continue to travel in this downtrend so we're right up here at that point where failure could occur unless we can get something pretty substantial to push us on through and it's certainly possible that that could occur we held on to price support levels in the chart so that's a good sign when it pulled back but we still have significant price resistance above here in this chart to push on through then let's take a look at our T2101 and I got to tell you I'm afraid T2101 isn't really helping us out much right now because volumes during the day have been extremely light extremely low and it's just right at the end of the day when that dark pool activity comes in that we get that surge of volume into the indexes but by and large it's been a very very light volume here in the market so I'm not sure we're getting a whole lot of indication of momentum here in the market but that price action does suggest that the bulls are uh, maintaining control and holding control and they're willing to fight so that is good for the market we'll want to watch that close let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today now our economic calendar has a couple of things that we're going to want to be paying attention to here this morning. Let's notice that we've got consumer sentiment. Now, the consensus estimates are suggesting that the sentiment will stay right where it was uh, last reading. Um, and that is at a very low number right now. Uh, consumer sentiment is extremely challenged here. And you can understand why with inflation taxing those, um, those consumers at every turn with all prices really going higher every place. So we'll want to watch that today um, if if these higher gas prices that occurred um, um, over the last few weeks and um, rising food prices, commodities, all of those things continue to press on those consumers, we could certainly see that slip a little bit more today. Um, and this is one of my favorite indicators in the market. And the reason it is is because we are a consumer-based economy. And um, if we continue to ignore the temperature of the consumers, well, I think we do it at our own risk. Um, they're not happy right now and that typically um, suggests a slowing economy and even that possibility of recession with the uh, Fed pushing um, the accelerator on their hawkishness. So watch that carefully. And then we have some Fed speakers today. We just have a parade of Fed speakers today as you can see. Whoops how that happened but we have um, fed speakers here today quite a few of those going on so I doubt we learn anything more from them today but we'll want to keep an eye on that and then these pending home sales will uh, want to be keeping an eye on obviously mortgage applications dropped hard this week so it'll be interesting to see how those pending home sales actually come in today um, don't be surprised if they happen to be a little bit on the negative side but they were so negative last time that we may actually get a little bit of a boost to the upside on that today so watch those close then let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar today now our earnings calendar we're really winding down on this quarter of earnings so we have 30 some companies listed on the calendar but the vast majority of those are unconfirmed reports and if um, as I sorted through and looked for some notables I gotta tell you guys there really isn't much out there that I would truly suggest would be a major notable or a major market mover today let's take a look um, D O O O um, that will be reporting this morning looks like it's trying to push on up 
to challenge this downtrend in the chart. Um, if it can get a good enough earnings report, that might help that pop through that resistance of that downtrend. So keep an eye on that. Um, DCTH, come here. DCTH also reporting today. Uh, again, $6 stock, not exactly something that's going to be moving the market today. MOV, $37 stock. This is a little bit more on that notable side, but you'll want to keep in mind that this has been moving in this downtrend, not looking, um, you know, all that stellar, but a good earnings report could certainly help out an awful lot pushing it through. I've got uh, PNT on the list today. Again, little $6 stock, um, clearly in a downtrend. Um, has a couple things going against it for me because it's a biotech and I choose not to trade biotechs because they are so uh, wildly volatile. So watch that close. And then uh, last but not least I put on the list and I really don't think this is going to matter. Um, TRU, whoops. This guy. <laughs> Um, this guy has been listed as a potential notable, and I gotta tell you, I just don't think anybody's gonna care. Um, almost no volume in this stock. So again, um, we're really winding down on those um, earnings reports. And remember, next week, we have four days to, to wrap up the end of the quarter. Um, so we'll wanna watch that closely. And we'll also kind of keep in mind, there may be that possibility of additional bullishness um, with that end of quarter window dressing. So kind of keep that in mind as we head into the weekend. Let's take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you feel the video was worthy, um, please click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments. And I just got to say thanks to everyone who does continue to do that. I know it's a pain to do it day after day after day, but at the same time, it helps support the effort to put out these videos day after day after day. And hopefully you guys are finding some benefit in this information. Um, so thank you so much for everyone who does do that. I truly appreciate it. And I also want to just say big shout out and thank you to everyone who supports the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link below. Um, that I truly appreciate as well. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks that um, are making some pretty decent moves. But we'll want to um, be a little bit careful as we slide into the weekend and realizing that our markets are pressed against price resistance levels in the charts. Let's take a look. Um, I've mentioned TSCO here recently, and I'm still watching that TSCO. Um, tractor supply, remember as uh, food prices continue to rise, I think there is a possibility that we could see more and more folks thinking about that urban farming and tractor supply is one of those companies that can definitely benefit from that and you'll want to be watching this um, right in here I've placed a price alert I like the way it broke through that um, resistance level right in here and we're just camping out just holding right in that area resting so I'll be watching this for a potential pop through um, on that chart, see if it can push on up to the upside. As you guys know, I've been talking about alternative energies. Um, take a look at Plug Power. Uh, Plug continues to move on up in a chart. Now, it is challenged by its 200-day moving average right here. So it may have to rest here for a little bit, but watch that closely. Plug continues to push on up as those energy prices continue to um, make people start looking for some of those alternative sources um, for energy. So plug something to watch for. You might want to also be keeping an eye on natural gas. Now I've been holding UNG as a long-term hold, but what happened um, overnight here is the U.S. has um, finished up a deal with Europe to supply natural gas to Europe. So I think this could continue on higher. You might want to look at some of those natural gas, UNG, um, LMT. Um, those could benefit from these moves today as um, we're going to start shipping some of that uh, natural gas to try and help them um, 
um, move away from that Russian uh, gas out there. Let's take a look also at some of the other alternative energies. Take a look at uh, first solar here. Um, Got to type the symbol right though. Um, taking a look at first solar, you can see in here we have a very, very uh, bullish pattern here in the chart showing, trying to show lots of bullishness. And if we look at um, um, the solar ETF tan, look at that bullish candle coming in here this morning, trying to push up. And you can see some of the stocks in that sector just looking pretty darn bullish as they continue to push up. So I would keep a close eye on some of those um, alternative um, solar stocks in there. They're looking just pretty darn good um, at the moment. You might also want to keep an eye on some of those commodity um, based stocks. Yesterday we had Brent oil pulling back a little bit, but it, it honestly didn't really hurt um, the oil sector here at all. Notice we're just resting here a little bit in Devon um, Energy, um, um, Occidental, whoops, Occidental um, pulling back, just resting a little bit. So these may set up more opportunities to the upside. I just can't imagine with the um, uh, issues that we have geopolitically that we're going to see energy prices pull back a whole lot um, in in that light. So watch those closely. There could be quite a few opportunities um, in those charts. Another area that I haven't brought up here for a while, um, there was some news yesterday about um, um, the old CEO coming back to Crone, um, Sierra, it's a cannabis stock. And these have just been terribly beat up. Notice these ugly, ugly downtrends in the chart. And we had a big surge in volume yesterday with the news that that um, CEO was coming back. And you can see um, popping up here this morning. So keep an eye on Crone and you may wanna take a look. There's getting, um, um, other cannabis stocks um, are getting some nice pushes uh, to the upside as well, just in sympathy of that move, I guess. So keep an eye on some of those um, uh, cannabis stocks. Now, you don't want to chase them when they stretch up this high. Wait for the next rest or pullback for them to show signs. If you're already in, congratulations, but don't chase something that spikes like that because there's a good chance it could whipsaw back down. So watch those closely. There's certain, some, something starting to happen here in these charts. So keep a close eye. You might also want to keep a close eye on some of the defensive sector type plays out there. You know, Coca-Cola has been hanging in here pretty well. Um, it's still um, struggling with this resistance here in the chart, but it's been hanging in there just pretty darn good, um, trying to, to hold up. So you may want to keep an eye on some of those just old, boring, defensive sector stocks that are trying to hang in there, providing those dividend payments to folks in this uncertain market condition. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for watching today. I do appreciate it. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. And I will see you all right back here bright and early uh, Monday morning. I wish you all just a fantastic weekend. Take care, everyone.